Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another Neutron 3 video tutorial. Now, obviously, Neutron 3 has had a ton of updates and new features added to it. And the advanced version in particular is absolutely phenomenal. It's got that mixing assistant, which I already showed you in a different video. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about an updated feature and it's the masking feature inside of the EQ. So I'm gonna show you how to get it set up inside of Ableton Live, but the process is more or less the same inside of any other DAW. And then I'm gonna show you how to actually use it to get a better mix. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. All right, everybody, so let's check out the updated and improved masking system. So what I'm gonna do is check out how the bass is masking the kick or vice versa. It works both ways, you know what I mean? So to see the masking visualization, you need to have a Neutron 3 EQ module, the Neutron 3 Mothership, or a Relay plugin on any one of your channels. So for me right now, I'm gonna be using two EQs just so I can show you like the inverse link feature and how you can manipulate both EQs from one instance of the EQ module. And just a workflow tip for you guys. Um, as you can see here, I've got a lot of other options. I'm gonna use the EQ because I wanna be able to adjust that EQ inside of Neutron. All of these other ones are the Relay plugins, and I've talked about that in the other video on the Mix Assistant. So that's why when I'm using Neutron 2 or 3, if it's an individual module, I put whatever type of module it is after the name, or I say Mothership or MS, or now with these Relay plugins, I might just leave it with maybe an R or something. So I'm gonna choose Kick EQ 3. All right, so as you can see here, we've got both spectrums showing up inside of the EQ. The orange one is the kick, and the gray one is the bass. And the orange highlights that are showing up, that's where masking is occurring. And any serious issues, you'll actually see it in a graph up here at the top. So what I'm gonna do is actually boost up the sensitivity just to show you. See these lines that come down? This is where the masking is really happening in the places we should really be focused on where we're making any changes to the EQs. <laughs> So what can we do to fix this masking? Well, right from here, I mean, I could make a cut right here. That might fix the masking, but obviously we're gonna be rolling off the base there a little bit too much. So I can double click to set that back. Uh, I can also jump into the kick EQ by just switching back and forth here. In Neutron 2, it is actually folded up here on the lower half of the plugin. And by the way, yes, we can rescale this to make this a little bit bigger. Um, so we can bounce back and forth between these and I can make any changes here. And any changes I make here will be reflected inside of here. So you can watch here. Let me move this one over here so you can see. As I'm moving here, it's moving there. So inner plug and communication, that's what it's all about. 2019, baby, isotope. We can do inverse linking. And actually, let me do this again. If I do inverse linking, and I flip back to my base, as I boost right here, it's going to cut over there. And it will show me, you know, with this dotted line, what's happening over there if I didn't have this GUI open right here. But I can see it, that's what's happening. That's gonna happen with anything that you can see here, it's coming down. So that's a really great way to get rid of masking. However, for this particular thing, we wanna use a dynamic EQ. So this is kind of a bonus. Um, how to set up dynamic EQ inside of Neutron 3. So what I wanna do is come down here where it says sidechain inside of Ableton Live and take it from the kick and then take this EQ node. And again, using the masking feature, focus in on where the masking is happening the most. And remember, you can boost up the sensitivity if you really wanna see it. You leave me high. So that's looking pretty good. So right now we've actually reduced masking quite a bit. But what the issue is, is this is just carving this out of the base at all times. And that's not what we want. We actually wanna turn this into a dynamic EQ node where it only cuts out that frequency range of the base when the kick happens to leave room for that kick in the mix. So that's easy enough to do. All I need to do is click right here to get this fly out, turn on dynamic, hit play, let's see what happens. All right, so now we have a dynamic EQ node, but we're not using that external sidechain to trigger it. 
That's what this is for. Go ahead and turn this on. If it's on internal, we want to turn it to external and we want to choose whichever band that we want. And I'm just going to use full signal because it's the kick and I don't really need to worry about uh, upper harmonic frequencies messing up anything. And let's go ahead and run the audio now. So when I hold down that bypass EQ button, you can hear that the kick actually gets kind of lost in the mix. And when I let that EQ happen, we can hear it better and everything is well on its way to success. We can pull this down further if we wanted, we can open it up further uh, and so on. We can make any adjustments that we want. We have full access to all of the EQ's powerful features. The masking feature is gonna make your mixes better. It's gonna change your life, trust me. If you weren't using it in Neutron 2, you definitely wanna grab Neutron 3 because it's updated, improved looks great and sounds absolutely fantastic all right so there you go that's the updated masking feature inside of neutron 3 from isotope just came out today you're definitely going to want to check that link in the video description to find out more i've done a few other videos for neutron 3 so check those out as well and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on everything in the world of plugins i'm joshua casper here for plugin boutique i hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next video